and and our guy Kyle Phillips, you know, as we get here into the third and fourth rounds of these, uh, you know, these rookie drafts, the Tennessee Titans made the big splash trading AJ Brown, uh, my kinfolk there to Philadelphia, but they added Traylon Burks there in in the first. So they they added Kyle Phillips with the number one sixty three overall, I believe it was. So adding a little bit more wide receiver depth. The moment that the Titans traded away AJ Brown, I mean the opportunity opportunity there in Nashville it is exponential everybody's floating to Burks and rightfully so he's gonna have a uh, hundred plus targets guaranteed this season and, and uh, potentially be able to step into uh as we mentioned what AJ Brown was able to do now AJ Brown is uh you know let's 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 not mistake for a second that think that Burks is going to step in and be A.J. Brown. Uh, not many people can do that. And while I am a big Burks supporter, um, but he is not A.J. Brown. The opportunity is there. And Burks, yes, while many of them are expecting him to step in and, and really take all that opportunity, the opportunity is there for others as well. And Kyle Phillips, while selected much later and, and far less draft capital, that goes for the same for, for where he's going in rookie drafts. Burks is going top five. Kyle Phillips is going late third, early fourth round. And, and potentially both of these guys have the same opportunity to, to really come in here and grab a piece of pie that's available. And, and it's actually a guy that JP and G and I talked about when I had him on a couple of weeks back. I, I asked him, I said, who's one guy that you think post NFL draft that people are going to be hearing a little bit more about versus, versus right now here before we see the capital? Kyle Phillips is a guy that not many people were talking about. Still, still a guy that not many people are talking about, if we're being honest. But he's got a huge opportunity here. And I love the cost, given where you can get him right now. I absolutely love the cost. The Titans haven't really been able to find you know, that that true slot guy that that uh, that they need over the years. They've had some, you know, Tawan Taylor, Khalif Raymond, Adam Humphreys, Chester Rogers. You know, they've tried a bunch of pieces out. Uh, as I mentioned, just the opportunity that that he's got there is is more than enough for me to want to take a stab here in the late third early fourth round every damn time i got a bunch of shares i'm going to continue stacking them between now and then and he has a clear path to playing on game days too because he's a very underrated punt returner and when you look past Traylon burks and robert woods what's on that team it's nick westbrook akina it's chester rogers it's all these guys that really don't have any capital invested in them overall and it's guys that he's better than in terms of the college stats all right and, and and all those guys that you just mentioned were forced into an opportunity this past season and unfortunately none of them really were able to capitalize on that i think it, it is wide open in this receiving room yes yes bobby trees is there the veteran presence coming off of a, a rather significant injury at that age i mean I, I think we all know the best days of bobby trees are behind him 